Hello, welcome back. We're going to continue where we left off here. We have two races left this season and two points on Ferrari to gain. Let's see if we can pull that off. Um, I think we're going to have to do it here in Brazil because I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to have a double DNF in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. That's what my cut is telling me about how things have been going. So let's just get into this, head over to Brazil and see how things go. Well, it's done. We had Stroll get fourth. We had a wet Q1 and a wet Q3. So, kind of disappointed that we didn't take more advantage of it. Stroll probably didn't have the best lap, to be fair, but still. Uh, fourth. Bunch of penalties here, so probably going to get moved up. Latifi just barely missed out on Q3 again. It's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Expected strategies here are two stops across the board. And in terms of performance, softs are better for about 10 laps. Mediums, uh, yeah, not really the play here. Should have saved an extra set of hards, but I didn't. And as you can see here, we have an average pit lane of just 24 seconds. So because of the penalties, Latifi is actually starting fifth and Stroll starting second. So that is good. And in terms of what strategy we want to employ here. Honestly, medium, medium, hard could work. Uh, let's see what we actually have available. Again, if I'd known, I'd save an extra hard time. But this is one of those tracks I tend to forget. I think we'll just start on... We could start on the softs. Try and get a little bit of an advantage. Slight. Uh, probably pit slightly earlier. Because we are going to be pushing those tires. Pushing fuel. And I think we'll just do that for both. And try and get as high up as we can. I think that is... The best strategy here. Because again. Because of the amount of penalties. I don't actually know who's starting in front of me. and Or behind me or around me. So we could have a bunch of slower cars if we can get away from them using the soft, which again will be will be the most powerful tire for 10 laps. Then we could potentially, you know, create some gaps we that would be in our benefit. And now it's time for the Sao Paulo Okay, we have the Red Bulls around us, so and it's lights out, and away mm, we go. Probably not possible to run away. Yeah. It Looks like we're going to have a hard time getting away from this. Tifi did manage to hold on to fifth. Uh, might actually be coming out that Red Bull, who went off the track slightly. Getting blocked though by Alpine is going to be a bit painful for him. But he did get the Red Bull. And in the top 10, we're the only ones that started on the softs. The rest are on the mediums, so we'll have a slight advantage now during the early stages. And hopefully we can actually, you know, translate this advantage into something that benefits us. So right now, Stroll is actually fighting or attacking Verstappen. He did actually get the move done. I don't think he'll be able to pull away, but we've already created a gap down to Paris. So this is kind of what we wanted here. I think I might just want to deploy here with Stroll. And see if we can extend that gap now that the RS gets... Uh, Gets activated. And again, the goal here is just straight up to pull a gap to fourth and hopefully run away from him. We'll have to see if we can actually pull that off though. And as the as the launch zone TV closes down on one and two, we might be able to make that work. But for now though, I think we are in a pretty stable position. We're just gonna allow time to pass and uh We'll see here where we stand once we get to that first pit stop. Alonso, we might need to just try and forcefully get by. Because he is kind of losing out here a little bit to... Uh, Cars in front. But if he immediately ate up all of our ERS stuff. But yeah, as you can see. Kind of getting left behind here. Alonso is living dangerously. We'll have to see if we can maintain that gap. We've had our first incident. Uh, just around lap 10, 11 here. Both cars have crashed, Albin is among them, and Alpine by looks of things. I would assume this is not going to be a safety car, but Stroll did fall back here compared to Verstappen, so that is actually a bit of a problem. He was running pretty close before the yellow, so hopefully we can close the gap, stay with him, because if we can't, then he might very well get eaten up by the car's behind. So, just a slight uh, little spin there, and 
Okay, as you can see here, Alonso is already attacking us, but uh, it might be a better idea to just let him get ahead here. And the I, the reason for thinking that is very, very simple. It's uh, the fact that our softs now are really starting to fall away. And we're going to struggle to keep up with the mediums. But uh, to be fair, I don't know if Alonso can close down to Verstappen. We'll see. And even then, if we DRS train back and forth with Alonso being, you know, uh, pull here, that's also fine. But that's going to make it very hard fighting Verstappen later. Now, we're just watching the We've had another incident involving Paris. Locked up and going in the wall, I think. Went very, very wrong there. Yes. And we are getting closer to the first pit stops, which is why I'm thinking that we pit Stroll on this lap, probably. And we're just going to do that because, well, we can't fit both them at the same time. So we're going to get Stroll in first. And then we'll get Latifi in on the next lap. Potentially, we should maybe pit Latifi because of the gaps. But uh, let's see if a Stroll actually comes out. Oh, we had a crash on track as well there. Stroll actually comes out in the back there. He's going to have a hard time. If we had just a couple more seconds there, could maybe have made something happen. Uh, let's see here, let's get Latifi in immediately as well. Well, we would have needed a bit more. They actually has a bit of a gap now to work with. But to be fair, it won't be that many laps before the rest also pit, so... It's okay, we'll just have to try and make the best out of it. We're going to go a little bit of recharge here, so that once we actually catch up to the back of these uh, cars, we can overtake them. So you know that, Norris pits as well. And I believe those were the other soft runners, so we'll just have to wait for the medium runs now to end up pitting themselves. But currently it's looking pretty okay. We're getting some stretches now in the zone here. Battle got out of the way for us, beautiful. And uh, we'll try and make the best out of this, and we'll see where we stand once we actually get to, you know, the next set of pit stops. We have Verstappen and some of the other front runners pitting here. We'll see exactly where we come out. Uh, I have no faith that we're going to beat... Uh, Verstappen out, and we didn't, but we did beat Alonso out with both our cars, so that is a net positive, I'll have to say. And we should be able to get Schumacher now on the main straight, no problem at all, and then we'll try and get Latifi oh, a bit further up too. But unless Verstappen has an incident, I don't see us having any chance of really beating him. The rest of the cars are also pitting now, Schumacher is the only one that is still causing a bit of problems here. And it's actually holding us up pretty well, so let's just give the overtake. And hopefully, that will be enough to get him by. We're also going to do the same here for Latifi. Oh. Crash here again, yellow flag. I thought that was us for a second again. Yellow ahead. Uh, ahead. Everyone is still moving, so... Okay, Schumacher. Now just That's a bit dangerous. We just got by him. Oh, that was very close to him taking our stroll there, so... That was a bit worrisome. Stroller is currently fighting with Alonso. We have Bert Latifi with us. Rick has not pitted yet, I think. No, he hasn't. So, currently, I think we're okay. Alonso is on the mediums. As time passes, we're going to be having a tire advantage. And again, that is going to be our fight. We're not going to be fighting with Stappen at all, I think, because we basically don't we can't catch up. So let's see how this fight with Lonza goes. We have the next pistol around lap 50. So uh, until then, we'll try and maintain unless we have some more incidents. So. It's a race position Here we are. We're getting close to the pit window. Latifi has kind of fallen back here. Stroll has been caught up by Leclerc. And Hamilton, Rick, uh, Alonso pitted for the hards a bit earlier. And currently, if we were to pit, we'd come out behind Alonso, which isn't that surprising. He's been on a better tire for a few laps here. And I think we will be pitting Stroll this lap, and I think we'll be pitting Latifi next lap. So we'll just go full on attack here. We'll save some fuel for the final stint, maybe. And uh, we'll have to make these mediums last, so... Going to be a bit of an interesting, there, interesting fight there, because... With how the quotation works, by the end of the next stint, we are most likely going to be slower than Alonso. So it's going to be it's going to be a rough one here to see if we can fight for that second place. Okay, so box, box. 
And, uh, well, box, box. see how that plays out. As you can see, Alonso is getting out just ahead of us here by uh, a few seconds. Not much we can do about that. And we could push Shield here, try and catch up to him and just stay with him. Uh, it's five seconds. We'll leave things be for just a lap or two and then have a look at it. Verstappen does his final pit stop. Again, he's going to be out way ahead of anyone else. And a lot of people here in the top actually do pit. So we only have Leclerc who hasn't pit now ahead of us. So potentially here, a podium should be within grasp. But the, the win here, unless Verstappen has a incident, is just not going to happen. We are catching up a bit though to Alonso. So that is good. Gaining about three tenths a lap. So with that, we could probably push you a little bit here. Gamble. And I think we will. Push fuel for both cars. And try and get into, you know, a DRS train. That will benefit us. We'll see how that goes though. Once we've run out of extra fuel, we'll stop. Unfortunately, it does look like we won't be able to catch up to Alonso. Before we run out of fuel. So we're going to stop here. We're going to be fighting for the last podium place with Leclerc. Which is actually going to be quite an important fight for us. Latifi will just have to do the best that he can. He's currently latched on to Russell. Russell has a slight tire advantage here. And generally, we'll just have to try and do the best here. We might actually have a safety car. There's a lot of cars stopped in that corner. Uh, you see the Haas, you see Bodas. So, that could have been dangerous. It's a crash, and it's more than one car. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. See what actually happened. Okay, so basically a spin into tire touching. Nothing too major, and no safety car that would help would have helped us out. Let's be honest, but it is what it is. If we don't get one, we don't get one. I'll be focusing on trying to get energy now for basically the fight in the end. There, I think Russell ran a bit wide, but we'll still focus on just getting energy here and we will be fighting Leclerc so save energy get ready for the fight in the last few laps here and as I say so we have another crash uh, sector one yellow and it looks like we ain't gonna get in a safety car Here's this time either play. but it is Verstappen that is a front wing gone at the very least and that should bring him into the pits. He does get into the pit, but because of the distance, he can pit and probably change his front wing and maybe even then still be out ahead of Alonso potentially. Yeah. Or no, it actually did cost him quite a bit. And we have another multiple cars crash incident. Another yellow flag. This time it is actually the full safety car though. Okay. So currently, let's have a look here at the stretches if we were to pitch for say softs to try and make something towards the end here where would we come out we probably come out behind let's see here what we can expect 11 seconds okay 11 seconds uh we come up behind rick which probably isn't worth it for sapping us fresh softs as well here uh basically whether we want to play the gamble or not we'll have probably 10 laps after safety car can we then get the job done i think we'll just play it safe here and rather push the mediums that we have uh we'll probably lose out of position to verstappen that is a foregone conclusion at this point but at the same time, uh, we kind of need to fight that Ferrari. We could gamble with Latifi, I think. That was an assassination, and that guarantees penalties, I think, for... No penalties. Well, penalties due to leading new pass for Hamilton next race. As I was saying, we could gamble with Latifi. He'd uh, come out around Gasly, he'll lose three positions. But he'd have a much better chance of fighting, and he actually has fresh salts, so... I feel like Latifi is okay to gamble with here. Because of this. But at the same time... 
I think we're just going to play conservative with Stroll. Gamble at Latifi, who's a bit further back. We gamble with... Uh, we play safe with Stroll here and try and fight Leclerc for basically championship lead. Have we had more crashes? Because it keeps on popping up. So Latifi now down in ninth. We lost our three positions. But these are used hard in front of us. We'll have two laps where we can, you know, just straight up push. We'll have fuel. We'll have everything here. And I think that should be enough that we can just eat our way through the pack here. That's going to be the goal at least. So we'll see how well that actually plays out for us on the restart here. But yeah, let's face it. We're seven is going to eat up Stroll. Yeah, it's just going to happen here. Fresh softs right behind them. They are quicker for 10 laps, so we can probably push these to some degree too. Lap cars may now overtake, so one more lap before safety car is in. But we'll see what we can do here. Again, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. We need to just try and hold on to where we are. Safety car in this lap. Yeah. Let us see here now. Okay, let's wait for the timing light. There we are. Stroll already kind of uh, falling back a tad. Give him overtake. Give Latifi overtake too. And we'll see if he can immediately have uh, some impact here. Didn't really look like it. And we could probably run a bit aggressive as well, just before we get into, you know, DRS training. So let's see if we can get a move or two done here for Latifi. Got one. Can he get Rick now? Stroll doing very well there to hold on. Actually, straight up just running away. We're actually going to deploy. Oh, multiple cars crashed again. If we have another safety car, that would benefit us immensely. Okay. So Stroll is now in de facto lead. We have another safety car. Who has actually crashed Albin and Vettel into each other? That is very unfortunate. Uh, but again, Latifi has made up places. Stroll has made up places. Now look at this. And that it does benefit Alpha us, Terry again, driver. a lot. Oh, no. Okay, so they took each other out. Well, I should say that. Latifi is almost up to where he was before the first safety car. But this second one is basically a blessing. It will it's allow Latifi to just go aggressive to the end. So, that's good. Norris had a spin a as well. Watch this. We're looking is this at under safety cars? car? It was indeed on the safety car. Guess that's what gave us that extra place, so... Looking good. The thing is now what we want to do is stroll. I think we're just going to go aggressive to the end. Once the safety car's done, we go aggressive on tires. We, well, we go aggressive, we push fuel, we deploy. We'll try and get out of the DRS. Create a gap that hopefully won't get eaten up. Uh, hopefully the safety car lasts for a few more laps for the stroll's sake. Uh, but again, we can, we're going to have to count on Alonso on Leclerc being in this lap. basically guardian beasts to some degree here. So okay, we, to push, to we are going to gamble on a bit more of an aggressive uh, strategy here. And for Stroll here, we can actually just go deploy because he's ahead of the train. So the quicker he goes, the better for us, actually. Overtake to Latifi. And Stroll is already creating a bit of a gap there to Alonso, which is what we want to see. We want him to be ahead when we come to the, you know, the RS zone. Latifi already up to six. Can I get another one? Can I get that uh, Merc? Looks like it may be into this next zone. And for Stroll now, we're just going to tune him down at just a tad. Latifi is still fighting with Russell, another yellow. We've had another crash on track. Is this going to be another safety car? Who's running wide there? 
up and ran wide? Did he hit someone? Doesn't look like it. We've just had a crash on the Yeah, they crashed out, okay. I guess it's the same corner as everyone else. Yeah. Also, Rick's gonna be driving for Alpha. That's gonna be interesting for uh, Hungary. Looking forward to it. Bit of a shame for the Breeze, let's be honest, but uh, he was a bit too cocky, I think, for his own good. And it has basically backfired for him. There we go, Latifi, go for it. Rick is petting, which is no surprise. And a new if Latifi can get one more here Williams. before DRS begins, that would be amazing. But that looks to be so more of a wish, wishing strategy. Might get the Ferrari though, even still. He did. That's amazing. Okay, so currently I think we're just going to sit here and recharge, honestly. And we'll try and make an attack. We'll probably be able to do an attack on Alonso purely due to the fact that Verstappen is going to pull the gap. So we'll have DRS to attack him. We'll have uh, energy to attack him. And hopefully, well, Latifi just does it even without energy, but it did, didn't make it stick. There we go. Question is, is Latifi quick enough now to catch that two second gap to Verstappen? I kind of doubt that. Verstappen is closing down the gap to Stroll, on the other hand, which is a bit more worrisome. But Latifi should have just about enough time to make this last to the end. Same for Stroll. So let's see here. Lead driver last lap. Very nice. Lap. But yeah, Latifi is not catching. Verstappen, uh, the goal here will just be to basically protect his own division position, I think. So we'll put them both on defend and we won't tweak any other setting just because usually when I do that, they have an incident. Is currently disabled. Is this looks currently good. Disabled. First and third, we can be very happy with that. To be fair, we were helped a lot by the safety cars, particularly Verstappen crashing out as well. Close the gap by a lot. But I'd say this is a very, very good result for us. First and third. This should mean that unless Ferrari pulls a one too, we have got second place in the championship. And, uh, well, Ferrari fourth here. The other one crashed out. Points for Aston. That's going to be uh, huge for them. And otherwise, it's just a single car from, well, the different teams in the points. Except for ours. What this stroll is, uh, well, it's impossible to overtake Verstappen. We can't, we don't have enough points, even if he crashes out completely next race. Latif is up to ninth, which is also nice to see. And again, Lance has guaranteed second place in the drivers and in the constructors now, unless, again, we completely crash out and Ferrari has a very good race. We should have second place wrapped up too, but it's Abu Dhabi. It's usually a safety car fest. Um, Let's face it, Sao Paulo is usually, does usually not have as many safety cars as we got, so this is going to be interesting. Got the chassis design completed. And I believe what I wanted to do here is not necessarily manufacture it. We have four days, so we won't make it anyways. But what I wanted to do here is do a research on the front wing. And of course, what we wanted to do is low speed performance. Because we are going to have to, because as you can see, we're losing a lot of performance here. We're not going to get any high speed gains here, but at the same time, the, the amount of low speed we're losing is quite, quite bad. So going to put three engineers on it and uh, we'll have to see what we do with the fourth one. But right now, I think this is the best we can do. We are still kind of lacking, so we need this because next season the the low speed cornering if we have a look right now uh let's compare it to say ferrari we are currently second so someone has gotten an upgrade that we don't have and a third medium we're already pretty bad at high speeds so i'm looking forward to seeing how these stats change next season particularly when we get that uh that debuff hitting us more or less side manufacturing complete 
and we are ready, I think, for the final race of the season. Let's see how this goes. And we also do have some staff that we might switch out. Uh, I'll still have a little bit of think on that. I'm a bit unsure if you want to keep with the staff that we have. The contracts are running out, though. But I think we might keep our race engineers at the very least. So let's head to Abu Dhabi and see how it goes. Had a bit of a moment here and realized that I completely forgot that we actually had an upgrade that was, you know, an upgrade and not just pure cooling. And that was the side pods, of course. So as you can see here, these will actually be pretty good up before the final race here once again it's low speed medium speed corners it's gonna push it straight up there as the best team in the low speed still second best team in the medium speed but it's gonna help with the top speed acceleration and generally it's just good but as you can see we've fallen really far back in terms of high speed now we're the second worst team on the track uh i'm curious about how it's gonna look next season though but it's not looking good right now and well, did do one practice before I remember this, but hopefully this will help us have a uh, good result here. Here we are, qualifying complete, 7th and 10th. To be fair to Latifi, he's a second slower than uh, Stroll. He spun on his final lap in Q3, meaning that he ended up 10th. Not much we could do there, it's what it is. Expected strategies here are two stops with the potential medium to hard one stopper. And. <clears throat> Excuse me, the compound performance here is actually quite interesting in terms that the hards is really good. Mediums don't really do much here, as you can see. Softs will be quicker than mediums for about 10 laps, and mediums will be losing out to the hards uh, within basically 5 to 6 laps. So, with that in mind, we actually saved two sets of hards, which should make life a little bit easier. Pit stops here take about 25 seconds, so uh, fairly medium in that regard. But as I said, we have saved... Uh, an extra set of hards, which allows us to say start on the soft and then do uh, hard hard. Usually there are safety cars here, so with that in mind, we could very well have uh, something happen with that. But as you can see, uh, hard still are fairly not really too good compared to the estimated race time, but the durability of the time will give us some um, more options. We could also start on the mediums then go hard hard but i think going uh, probably soft for the first 15 laps here would benefit us more and the race isn't really long enough for this strategy to really be super viable if we go on the softs here as you can see we save about a second it'll also make us quick in the first 10 laps which is crucial for us you know getting a bit further further up the ranks but yeah this is basically what we'd end up doing the, there is a strategy that is comparable, you know, this one. It's potentially a tad bit quicker, as you can see, but uh, I'd say being on two sets of uh, hards gives us a bit of a, a bit of a better advantage here because just longevity of the tire. And uh, I'm going to die on that hill, I guess. But yeah, medium potentially quicker, but with us pushing tire, pushing fuel, we do have options, and I do enjoy that. So we're starting fifth, ninth. <clears throat> which means that we do actually have a decent chance on the race itself. But we'll start on softs and we'll go hards, maybe a medium stint in there. If safety cars cause some issues, it's Abu Dhabi. It's the Abu Dhabi there will usually be a safety car three. And it's lights out and away we go. Okay, so we actually start right behind Verstappen. Did Quali in first. And this happened already got Alonso, Latifi, we're actually fighting Red Bulls on, but for both our cars there. Latifi looks like he did get Paris though, so that is uh, a good start. And Alonso's on all softs, Gassi's on all softs, for the most part here we're seeing mediums. And this happened actually runs wide, but he has already secured the title, so it doesn't actually have anything to say for him. Oh, Which of course there. is... Here we see Max Interesting. Luckily enough, he had a bit, not enough of a gap there that he didn't actually take anyone out when he locked up. So that is an added benefit for him. But yeah, we have some older stuff around us. And with the staffing kind of out of the way now, that should make it a lot easier for both our cars to, you know, and get position positions. And Williams. we'll keep on pushing, being a little bit aggressive until we pit around lap 15. And uh, we'll see if we can make uh, something out of this race yet. 
we are getting close to that first pit stop, so I'm thinking we actually get stroll in this lap. As you see right now, we are running pretty good here. We're running about, uh, well, third and fourth. As close and as when we do pit here now, we are going to come out pretty close <laughs> to the back. Um, but honestly, it's actually better to kind of pit earlier here. Because we are going to have to get by show. We're going to have to get by Schumacher. And even if we wait, we, the only thing will happen is that we'll pit into this uh, DRS train that goes from Vettel to Sainz. So, with that in mind, I'm thinking we get Stroll in this lap. And we get Latifi in next lap. And that should be good. I should probably have lapped Latifi. Sorry. Lapped. Pitted Latifi this lap, but we'll take him in next lap with the hards, and we can make a decision then on what we want to do. So Stroll actually is going to still come out inside that DRS train, well, almost, so we'll have to try and make something something work here. We'll run standard, we'll harvest a little bit, but generally we should be, we should be okay, I think. Uh, it's going to be a pain to get through, of course, I think we've had a but I still think it uh, it should be doable. We'll get Latifi in now, and he should come out, you know, around the same area. Alpha Tower, and I think Stroll should have no problem re-overtaking Albin. Latifi actually came out ahead, so he did get uh, a bit more of a benefit there, probably by Stroll getting held up by Albin. So I think that actually gives Albin DRS too, just as an extra little screw you. <laughs> So yeah, we'll, we'll have to try and get something done here. It's going to be a bit difficult. We're going to be, you know, kind of in a problematic situation. I think Stroll should have no problem getting Albin. Uh, as long as Albin doesn't have DRS, even without. He might actually have gotten him there a bit too soon. But Stroll should have DRS to cast in front. Doesn't actually, but that's fine. And uh, we'll have to see what we do. Latifi is still finding signs. Well, there with a spin, but we'll be working our way upwards here. The first set of pistols is actually happening for the soft runners, which means Rick is going to be fitting soon too. And we did beat, I think, all of them. So that is one, you know, pretty decent benefit. But we do need to try and get both Latifi and Stroll, of course, uh, a bit further off the track. That would help us out, you know. Yeah. Excuse me. That would actually help us out a lot here. So for now, let's see if we can get signs. I think Stroll should be capable of doing that, particularly once we get uh, the helping of DRS. I think we are quicker than the Ferrari, to some degree. Stroll isn't really using the energy right now, so that could also be why, but either get signs there. And as I said, we'll just try and keep on climbing upwards here with both drivers, and, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Rick is now pitting, so uh, we have a work cut out for us, but I think we can make something here. We've had a crash on track, which actually gives us a safety car. Um, this could be big, particularly for Leclerc and Norris, who actually just gets into the pits before there, meaning that they get a free pit stop. Uh, they should both come out safely. Russell has had a crash here. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. They'll get the Alpha. No, Alpha just barely safe from that rocket. Yeah, everyone is pitting. Uh, we're actually going to kind of get a bit of an advantage here, but as you can see, both uh, both Paris and... Sorry, both Norris and Leclerc, not Paris, get three pit stops and they retain their positions. Now, for the rest of us, no such luck. Uh, we're going to have shittier times compared to everyone else, but this could potentially mean that everyone now will be trying to do a one-stopper and run 38 laps on these hards. Which, with the gradation, um, will make them fairly slow. Like, they'll lose over a second a lap towards the end there. So, potentially, we still have options. If we can somehow keep with Leclerc and Norris, that would be amazing. And then we'll do that second pit stop, go into the hards, maybe the mediums, we'll see. And do some work from there. Mediums shouldn't really be good on this track, but the, you know, the uh, prediction engine believes it is. Safety car, safety car is actually lap. ending safety already. In okay. So. so heads down, focus. I'm gonna just try and maintain currently. We would kind of want to just stay third and fourth. Have a Clerton Norris pull us along. As you can see, they they got about a 15 second gap to Paris last time around. So if we can stay with them, that would be the hope here. But as you can see already, Stroll is kind of falling backwards. We'll put it into push. 
And we'll see if that is enough for Stroll to keep up. Hopefully it will be. And if we need to, we'll also do the same for Latifi here. And honestly, we probably should, because there is a gap starting already to form down to Ghastly. And if we can stick with Norris and Leclerc and leave Ghastly behind, that would be amazing. But even now, as you can see here, Stroll is falling quite harshly backwards here. So we're going to deploy ERS this lap. We're going to make sure that we keep up. And that should also actually help with, you know, extending the gap down to Ghastly. So this could very, very well pay out for us. But gas is already back up to where we were. Not much happening. So we're going to have a big DRS train. There are going to be gaps forming at some point. And we're just going to hope that those gaps aren't us. Let's see how this goes down the line. Crash in main straight. We've had yet another crash. A main straight crash here. Gaps have started to form with Paris, Verstappen, but generally here it's still pretty, pretty quiet, so to speak. And let's see, is this going to be a safety car? Not really, it just looks like a very, very light knock. So, don't think we'll have a safety car. We have plenty of energy, plenty of fuel. And again, yeah, we just want to stay with the pack for now, because even if we push all we have, we're just going to waste time. So we won't get away, I think. Even though there is kind of gap forming right now. I don't think we'll get away for long enough that that gap will be maintained. So we're not going to do anything stupid. We're just going to stick with the stick with the cars if we can. Might need to give, you know, stroll a bit extra juice right now. We, yes, we'd be falling behind Leclerc. But we'll keep, as I said, just maintain this until the second pit stop. And uh, do our best here to <clears throat> make something happen towards the end. We might delay the second pit stop here a bit longer for a couple of reasons. There'll be more gaps forming, making it easy to get back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. And well, never mind. This is starting to become a theme, isn't it? I'm plan I planned something and Stroll just goes, nah, we ain't doing let's that. <laughs> now let's have a look. It's Lance Stroll. Okay, so. Okay, so he showed us the overtake. My bad. That wasn't uh, the spin. Unfortunately, that does push Stroll all the way in the back here. Um, this is going to be rough to, you know, make up for. But we'll do our best. And Latifi now is uh, the man to follow. He is kind of falling backwards, though. And we've given Leclerc a huge window that he can work from. But as I said, we'll maybe delay this pit stop, we'll see. And uh, we'll try and get something done here towards the end. I think we're in the position here that we want to probably pitch Stroll a bit early here. Uh, it's not going to be great, don't get me wrong by any means. But he's going to have a lot of free air to work with, and that is the idea here. And if he can just keep on, you know, catching up by doing that, it would be great. We might just put him on the mediums here. I don't know if the Apple actually lost the end, it's the only concern, so I know this is Latifi, but we'll just use him as a benchmark. It won't really last to the end, uh, won't really be quicker either. So what I'm thinking is that we get Stroll in, we're going to put him on that second set of hards. Uh, we could probably use have pushed this set of hards a bit, you know, harder once we realized. Actually, we're going to wait one lap before we pit him. And that should be enough here that he can get a little bit more out of those odds. For Latifi, he is starting to fall back quite uh, on the regular here. We have to push fuel basically every lap just to stay within distance of Norris. He is pulling away quite aggressively. So, well, as I say that, Latifi just goes for the overtake. So, as I said, Latifi is struggling to keep up, but we can maintain it for now. So, what I am thinking is that we, again, just stretch Latifi a lap or two because... Everyone is going to get slower and slower. Honestly, the best thing here is probably just get Latifi in. Get him pitted. Uh, where would Latifi come out? Probably to, again, probably towards the back. Might be that Alden. But should still have some fresh air. And I think that is going to be the, the game plan here. Just get him in. Get onto a fresh set of... Uh, fresh set of hards. And they'll take us to the end. And hopefully we can hold off, of course, any cars behind. And that's going to be the real challenge here. You're doing very good. Lifetime out good. Lifetime out good. Get Latif in. 
now. He actually did set Barca's lap there. To be fair, we could probably just push him again. We're just going to have him delay it by one, one more. If he's setting fastest laps on the current with the current setup, there's no need to stop him just yet. We can have him push for, as I said, a little bit longer. Although that might backfire. And just, uh, as long as he's running decent lap times. Okay, he's not like running decent lap times, so he will be pitted this lap. Uh, again, it's just stretching the tires as long as as long as possible before we pit and start losing too much time here. So let's get Latif in, getting him to a new set, and he'll be running pretty much in the back there, coming out next to Albin. But it should be out just ahead. Although maybe coming out just behind would have been more beneficial. And Stroll could not handle that being the point of view for a few seconds here. But looks like he luckily didn't get any damage, so... That is good, but uh, yeah, let's see if he's in here now, seven seconds behind. We'll have to see what his lap times are like. But if they if they're just any good here, Gaslin almost actually pits immediately. And Latifi 2 is in the ruin okay. my plants business right now, apparently. <laughs> uh, should still be some of the pitters, but at the same time, that costs us a lot of lap time there, 53. Uh, so yeah, we should have been out way ahead of both Alonso and Gasly. And right now we are six seconds, seven seconds behind them. So we lost a decent amount of time doing that, uh, doing those shenanigans. So that sucks. Another set of pit stops happening ahead of us here. We jump at least all of those. So that is positive. Stroll does not. So yeah, Stroll can just do his own thing for now. There's not really much we can do there. Let's deploy a little bit of ERS here, try and close things down, because there are going to be more pit stops for sure. As you can see, Rick is pitting. And could push you a little bit too. We do have gaps to work with right now, so we'll take advantage of them. But we didn't actually beat Rick out there either, so... You can see from that just how much that lockup actually did cost us. Because we're running pretty quick, 27.3 there. But even if we're running that quickly, we still have a few, you know, laps worth of a deficit. And now Rick is giving TRS to Albin, so... Well, not anymore. But that was actually a concern of ours. That he could... Uh, cause a lot of pain for us, but yeah. Let's face it, Latifi was running next to Norris. He's currently 27 seconds behind, which is about more than that pit stop. So, it definitely didn't help. Um, and... Again, we'll have an advantage against the medium towards the end of the stint. So we'll speed things up. We'll try and keep uh, Latifi fighting here. And we'll see if the cars ahead of us pit. If they do, we might have a chance. If they don't, we're going to be struggling with the uh, driver errors we've had today. We've had another er driver error here. Latifi just ran wide. But what I just realized is that we might have tossed away the championship uh, second place. Because uh, current standings means that... Ferrari will beat us by one point, so... Yeah, we need one more position. Uh, I don't think we're going to get it, though. Um, we kind of just have to go a bit of a, a full-on attack here. Basically, if Paris can hold a brick, that could help us. I don't know who will win if we draw with Ferrari. But Paris is running, uh, you know, basically dead tires, so I'm most of the top here. And... There's just a few laps here to go, so we're going to push it, we're going to gamble. Stroll just doing his own thing back there, though. Um, but yeah, driver errors really did cause a bit of a problem for us here. We are running about two seconds quicker than the Red Bull, so we will catch him. Provided Rick doesn't actually pull him away from us, and that's the problem. Rick is still pretty quick. Uh, as you see, 27-2. Four tenths. Rick could actually cause us a major pain here, so I need Paris to fall you know, away from him immediately. Because if we don't, we are going to be... We're going to be crying, so... Once we cross the line, three laps to go. We are probably going to get Paris, but as I said, I don't know if that will be enough. And uh, Sainz is in 11th. I don't think he will catch up uh, on all the mediums, but who knows. 
I did also push fuel there maybe a tad too much, so once we get by Paris, we might have to go a little bit on conserve. So, a lot of cars in front here. I don't know, I don't think we're going to get them, which is, of course, the sad part. I thought we had an accident, but we didn't. So let's just recharge by Embarrass again. I think Paris is the only one we're really going to get here. So, well, we might not even get Paris at this, this point. There we go. So let's check the standings now. If we were to end it like this. Okay, so as long as we get a point, we're safe. Provided science stays out of the points. So Latifi... Okay, there's a big crash. May just save it. Okay. We had a big crash, yellow flag. We've had a crash. Battle with a crash again. Let's see what happened there. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. And that's an off. That should be him out, I would think. Yes. Stroll immediately wide. Uh, wide. I think Stroll just. Goodness well, that was not really too bad. He lost maybe a few tenths. But yeah, Stroll really just can't handle not being the center of attention for five seconds. But yeah, it's a bit unfortunate again, but it is what it is here. We were. The strategy could have worked if Latifi didn't have, you know, that accident. Um, he did lose a lot of time. We are about. Again, we're just not too far off with the, even the lead here. So. If we had a bit more luck here with Driver Aris, we could have been fighting. But as you saw, this should have secured a second place in Constructors, which is very, very good. Latifi being the hero. And uh, once again, for the most part, different teams. Alpha with a double. <coughs> Norris on the podium. And Stroll gets second place in the championship. Latifi falls down to 11th, though, with that uh, last race showing. And we do beat out Ferrari here by just a point. And if you consider that we had 7 wins, 10 podiums, uh, 5 passes laps, I, th I would have hoped we could have beat them by more, but that's uh, this point system. Now, 4, 5, and 6 here, it's just 6 points between them. That was also pretty close. And Aston did actually beat Alpha Tauri, so honestly a good season overall here. Tiff even gets himself a point, so does Stroll. And uh, yeah, I'd say this is looking good for the future. Uh, next season is probably going to be a bit of a more of a struggle fest because of course the wind tunnel limitation. Get a point in for breaking for all the Tiffy. And for Stroll here, we're going to put a point into... Reactions, again, we're just going to start from the bottom, go up, and the lowest stat on the way up is the one we're going to invest in. So next time it's going to be cornering, then it's going to be reactions, cornering, and then adaptability. So we'll be balancing him out somewhat, lowering his maximum ceiling. Prochet also has some points that put him in reactions. We're not going to do that for Prochet, we're just going to make a maximum driver, more or less. Upcoming board review. Board is happy. I would hope so. Season results, as uh, we told, we beat, we drew with Ferrari, and the board wasn't really happy with that one point at the Ars Marina. And honestly, acceptable. But once again, driver errors. We need to focus on the cooling, and hopefully that'll you know make it a bit more balanced. So we did beat the long-term objective as well. Beat the season objective by a mile, which might come back to bite me in the ass next season. And team rating has gone up by almost 200 points. Pretty good. And the team rating goes up as well. Wind tunnel in poor condition. We do want to refurbish this immediately. Although, to be fair, we're going to be upgrading it. And it's going to take over a month to refurbish. So by the time refurbishment is done, we're already going to upgrade. So let's just do that next season. It's, no, it's not a biggie. Pick group performance loss. Our pit crew is actually still pretty decent, let's be honest here. 75, 75, 76. We don't have the worst pit crew, much better than the Haas one for sure. And we'll have to see how hard these regulation changes actually hit us. Remember, we are basically the best car in low speed, second best car in medium. And that is what mostly will be hit by. So, again, we will get... We will probably get the, the staff back here. 
they are still currently in contract, but once they're not, we're going to go ahead and uh, probably resign them. There is internet, we might switch out the other two, we'll see who is available. Refurbishment completed of the weather center, very good. I do like to keep that bit, <laughs> that is the most important building. Even though, again, I, I really wish they would have changed weather, but unfortunately what I've seen so far, 23, it gives you more information, but it doesn't give you, you know, the expected water levels. Again, just have a, if it's gonna be between two to four millimeters and as your weather's gonna get better, it becomes slower, but don't make it maximum, like, you know, precisely, because that's just impossible. We do have an available engineer, but that's not really an issue because available engineer just means we get more time. Rowing research is complete. I uh, can't really research anything else, just a few days before the end of the season. Other two researches are going to be done here. There we go for the underfloor. And then we have the front wing. And once again, idle engineer, suspension, same in poor condition. We are going to be upgrading basically everything because we need that extra cooling next season anyways. And we are going to be, you know, hiring new staff here. So race engineers, we could try and get Bonington. Honestly, he is open to negotiations. Uh, ben Mitchell, we could get him too. But I think we're going to just resign. We could also kidnap Checo's uh, engineer here. But I think we're just going to get Yego back because once again, he pit crew management is already pretty high, and that's the that's really the only thing we care about. So we're just going to resign Yego. Put him on car two, five seasons, and I have no clue what we gave him last time around, so let's just go for 300. Again, I don't remember how much we pay race engineers, so we'll start at this, and he if he gets pissed, then we'll up it by a decent amount. Okay, he was not happy with the, the salary there. Let's up it to 500. Still not happy. Uh, okay, 750. We're getting to medium patience there, so we just have a couple more tries. Okay, and I do want to check one thing though. How much are we paying our other race engineer? Because it's been a while, so oh, we're paying him a million. That and that 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 explains it. So. Uh, we are going to be offering you just 1.2 million and let's give you 100k in sign on bonus. And hopefully that will be enough. And we'll hire you. There you go. I did put you, yeah, I did put you on the correct car that we don't remove uh, our other race engineer. That would actually be sad. But yeah, we could have kidnapped Bonington. Uh, we could have kidnapped uh, Hugh Bird. So. Well, to be fair, again, the only thing we really care about on our race engineer is the pick crew management. That's going to change with 23, though, most likely, which is going to be good. We could get back. Uh, Vacha, back, back, Wook. We could get uh, this man. And he is the best one, so let's just go for it. Uh, we'll offer him, I guess, two and a half million. To be fair, we don't really need to be too worried about money at this stage. Uh, although we are going to be upgrading our facilities a lot, money isn't really a concern because cost cap. Even if even if the cost cap is a concern, we could just make less parts. Let's see how he feels about this. Once again, it's been a long time since I did this. So I have no idea what they want in terms of money, but I believe three point around three million mark, three and a half, four million should be more than enough. So we'll see. Okay, we're going down to medium. Let's give you. 37.50. Okay, he accepted that. We'll hire him. That should help boost our cars quite a lot here. He is very good on everything. But we do need to get his underfloor stat up a bit. Uh, head of aerodynamics. Tonde is actually available. Of course we couldn't have him. Why wouldn't we? And we'll just give him... 4 million from the get-go. I think that should be good. And this might be a bit cheesy, of course, that we are nabbing these talents, but let's face it, we, we, we came second in the constructors last season. 
and honestly we should be paying the other teams some sort of you know compensation there should be fights for these boys he did not like that so let's give him four and a half and if not we'll give him five million because again our drivers are pretty cheap so we can splurge on stuff even that wasn't enough okay let's give you 5.2 i think i'm paying you more now than our drivers even that isn't enough oh he did accept it though there we go tondi acquired so we now have actually a pretty killer staff here we have this man pierre we have diego and then we have our two race engineers who honestly again the only real staff that we care about here is pick management and it's in the 90s for basically both so that is very good and again 92 across the board this is going to boost our car quite a bit which we're going to need and in terms of the driver contracts here let's just have a look and in comparison so we pay Latifi 800 we pay strong 3 million so 3.8 million basically uh our drivers are paid less than either of our, you know, main staff here. Pusher's contract is going to be ending next season. That's fine, though. And I think that this is basically the end of the season here. We did pick up the new staff. Probably should have done that next episode. But to be fair, uh, this one is going to be fairly short. So we did that. And... Uh, I think this was a good season. Next season is once again going to be kind of a bit weird one. So hopefully we can come out on top though. It's going to be difficult, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do probably need to tune down my voice a bit. And what I mean by that is just talk slower and a bit more clearer. It has been a busy couple of uh, weeks for me. And I think that is actually reflected in the way I speak when I record, which sucks. But uh, I'll be focusing on trying to speak a little bit more slower, a little bit more clearly, the uh, next next few parts here. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun. And hopefully, we can still make something our next season. We did get second this season, so uh, looking forward to it. See you next time. Bye-bye.